Hi, this is Dr. Mike Headley, and I have three simple secrets for those out there that are struggling. I interviewed a really masterful chiropractor tonight of 39 years, 39 years of experience working with people, clients in an office, coaching, consulting. Hi, Alan. Hey, Bev. Three simple secrets for those that are struggling. So it doesn't matter what you're struggling in. I talked with a chiropractic coach and he talks with a lot of struggling chiropractors. However, we talked about um, seven things that I talk about a lot and just finished up last night. Seven physical lifestyle habits, your spine and nervous system, how you eat, how you exercise, how you breathe, how you think, how you sleep, etc. So whatever you're struggling, struggling with, a lot of people think, oh, it's my job, it's finances, but it could be parenting, it could be with your weight, it could be with some other physical ailment. What are you struggling with? And if anyone needs any um, <clears throat> private information, they can personal message me. It doesn't have to be public. So three simple secrets to help you if you're struggling. Number one, hey Jordan, I haven't seen you in a while. I got to stop in and say hi. Hey Anthony. So three secrets, simple secrets for someone who's struggling. Number one, mindset. So instead of pointing the finger at the economy, at the other person in the relationship, hey Tammy, um, we, we, can, we can point fingers all the time. The problem is there's three fingers pointing right back at us. So we have to change our mindset. The mindset meaning we can dig ourselves out of this thing. We can, you know, financially, oh my way, I ballooned up 20 pounds. I can, I can correct this. I'm not sleeping well. I, I got to change my mindset, especially if someone's already achieved success in this part of their life, say, say financially and now I'm struggling. Well, we need to change our mindset to the abundance mindset. We need to change our mindset to the thin mindset, to the energetic exercising mindset instead of the doomy gloomer stinking thinking blaming type mindset the abundance the expectation management the positivity mindset we have to change that so what i mean you can write down goals because if we have a goal and we put it on our fridge and say i'm going to weigh 10 pounds less next month that well that's going to change our mindset that's going to change our focus we can do affirmations hey jason we can um, do journals, we can pray, we can meditate, we, can, we need to change our mindset, we need to think we can achieve it because whether you think you can or think you can't, you're right. So the number one thing this master doctor taught me tonight that he's helped m more people get over struggling, the simple secret to help someone struggling, mindset. You gotta start with the mindset that you know you can do it and you need to um, <clears throat> have expectation management, positive mindset. Number two is you have to invest in yourself. And so if, if your struggle is finances, you have to think, well, how can I invest in myself? I don't have a lot of money. I don't have a lot of time. I'm stressed out. I'm busy. I'm working three jobs. Well, there's a ton of free stuff online now. And a couple free books, Think and Grow Rich, you can Google that and get a free PDF book of that. The um, the, another really, really, really great book is As a Man Thinketh is, is free online. So there's a lot of free resources. Investing in ourselves, well, if we have some resources and we want to lose weight, we can invest in a coach. We can invest in a consultant. Tammy's on here. Look up Tanny, Tammy <laughs> Shatsko. She, you can invest in her to organize your life. Okay, If we're struggling with chaos and disarray and disorganization, talk to Tammy. And she can organize your life. If, if you're struggling with any aspect of your life, you have to invest in yourself in a lot of different ways. I like to invest in health because when our health is strong and we're energetic and we're focused, we're well rested, we're well fed, our body's in alignment, we can achieve all aspects of our life and enjoy and reap the rewards. Yeah, we love messes. Talk to Tammy. That will clear a lot of stress from your life. And that will, <laughs> if someone's struggling, 
one of one of the other really massive successful coaches I talked to says the first thing they do <laughs> I'm just getting a little bit aside because Tammy is so good at what she does is to clear clutter. First thing, you go through desks, closets, drawers, you know, every aspect of your business, your life, your house and clear the clutter. And then that will create a vacuum so you can attract more into your life and you can clear your mind. And that's a mindset thing, is to clear the clutter. Donate it, sell it, give it away, burn it, recycle it. So many different ways. So, three simple secrets for someone who's struggling. We need to change our mindset to think we can get over it, to know that we can get over it. Get back to the mindset of where we were successful in other aspects of our life and model that. Number two is invest in ourself. Mental clutter can be just as impactful as physical clutter. Wow. Powerful. How can we just clean out our drawers? Because every time we open up a drawer and it's clean and organized, we go in the closet and my pants are laid out in order and all my shirts are either dry cleaned or pressed and organized. Wow, that's super relaxing for my mind so I can just put on my clothes and get to work and focus on what I need to very very powerful is clearing out the clutter in your life so I'm trying to recap again number one is mindset we need to change our mindset if we're struggling we need to focus on what we want instead of what we don't want we need to have an abundance mindset and rethink of times when we were successful in our health in our wealth in our parenting in our childhood whatever number two is to invest in ourself. We need to invest in ourselves. Do you need to take some vitamins? Do you need to see a chiropractor? Do you need to get a massage? Do you need to invest in someone's business like Tammy's to uh, We Love Messes to clear out some clutter in your life. Number three, surround yourself with like-minded people. Surround yourself with successful people. Surround yourself with people maybe are one or two steps ahead of you. If you're in a mastermind, you're having a cup of coffee, I think we should help people that are struggling, yes, but if we're in a struggle, we should surround ourselves with people that aren't struggling and maybe ask for some help. Surround yourself. I've read multiple books that say we are the equivalent. Hey, BJ. We are here. Um, hey, Eric. So I've read m countless books that says we are financially the equivalent to the five people we hang around with the most. Our health in general is equivalent to the five people we hang around with the most. Okay? Our, our religion in general and, and our, our relationship with God and love of God is, is similar to the five people we hang around with the most. If we're big time partiers and you love to you know, tip back a couple dozen beers, usually you have to surround yourself with other people that like to do that because if you surround yourself with all non-drinkers, they might not want to hang out with you if you're tipping back about 20 beers a night. And I'm not knocking, hey Jordan, I'm not knocking, <laughs> thanks. And uh, I appreciate that, Eric. And um, it was fun. I, I just got, I surrounded myself with the best students when I was teaching at Life University, a great college. So to recap, it's very simple. Don't knock beer. They make a lot of good quality beers. Even if you don't drink them, I'm, I think it's okay. I choose not to drink beer. I'm okay if other people do. I'm not a fence sitter on everything. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You know, it's simple things, Tammy. You know, mindset. Invest in yourself, surround yourself with positive people, similar like-minded people, and you're going to go way a ways in life. If you're struggling, especially when we struggle a lot, I was talking to a chiropractor last week, and he says, I, I get together with a couple buddies and we complain a lot. These darn insurance companies and this and this and colleges and no one supports us, and it's easy to point the finger at other people. But then we go, okay, look in the mirror and look who's back. Oh, we got, we got to point at this person and fix this person, change our mindset, okay? Invest in ourselves. ask some other people. What I've done 
in Bemidji the last several years, Bemidji, Minnesota, the Chamber of Commerce gives out this Lifetime Achievement Award, etc. So I usually take that person out for lunch because I want to see how they achieved Lifetime Achievement Award. And they give, they're more than welcome. And one recipient, I said, how many people brought you the front page of the paper and congratulated you and asked you what your secrets to success were? Any guesses out there? No one. Sometimes the higher up people are in significance in organizations, people are afraid they think they're untouchable. They aren't. Sometimes they're lonely because they're so successful. People think, oh, I don't want to waste their time. A lot of times they can be reached and they want to help other people with success because they're successful and they're generous. That's how they got to the top. That's how they achieved greatness is they help people that were, they don't necessarily have to be struggling. So I hope this is valuable. Thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks for the great comments. Thanks for the summary, Tammy. We love messes. Great organization. Great business. Declutter your life. That's probably number four. I mean, for people that are struggling, declutter your life. And that's easy. That's, you know, you can reach out and invest in yourself and uh, invest in other people and surround yourself with greatness. And I think you'll get over the struggle a lot faster. Simple stuff, Anthony. Take action today. Look online for free resources, webinars, podcasts, so much good information to change your mindset. Yes, declutter your life. I like the tagline. And then uh, invest in yourself and surround yourself with great people. Uh, you can do it. Simple steps. Sometimes that's where it is. The most successful people are the most consistent at the simple steps is another great lesson. So have a wonderful night. Have a great evening. If you have any questions, comment below and or personal message me. If you're really struggling with something, maybe I can help you out or give me a call. This is Dr. Mike Headley at Explore Chiropractic in Bemidji. Have a wonderful night.